there are certain steps that you take that will get traffic and sales to any business. It does not matter. OK, uh, can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, put a one in the chat, because today I'm not using that big microphone. I just got headphones in up under here. OK, so if you can hear me, please. Class participation points. Put a one in the chat. Uh, Gary said we're working on courses for frequency quantum Madison as my partner just became a PhD doctor uh, quantum integrated health. OK, so you guys can hear me. That's good. OK, so what I'm trying to attempt to do, I am plugged a whole bunch of the, uh, <laughs> the the connections and plugs and adapters that I had that I believe was having us uh having issues so i'm trying to see if we can have a little bit more um you know stability in our stream today yeah i gotta remember i'm out here internet is not all that in panama okay so just bear with me uh as long as you can hear me i can help you remember that as long as you can hear me i can help you okay so i'm going to show you some of the things i'm working on and i want you guys to show me what you're working on so i can show you how to get traffic to them okay so we got ones in the chat. We got ones in the chat. OK, 15 people in here. We need to get them likes up. It should be 15 likes at least. OK, a uh, Viking marketer says, so we need to sign up under your builder all to get access to your training. Well, I got free courses that. Yeah, pretty much. You know, I sold those courses for thousands of dollars. You can go to the landing pages for each of those courses and you'll see that the regular prices on them are still like three thousand, five thousand, all of that. But for the people that go ahead and get the tool of Builder Raw, I give them like a couple of the courses for free. So, but no, you don't have to do anything. I don't pressure, I don't do pressure sales, guys. Okay. Uh, I, I recommend things to you that can help you. The courses are awesome, but Builder Raw is an all in one marketing tool. It has everything in there automators, uh, or autoresponders, uh, things like Photoshop, um, you know, email automation. Uh, freaking all type of follow up apps and all that type of stuff. So, but I'm not doing sales today. I'm here to help you guys get sales. Okay. All right. So Gary says he with us. James said, this is the first time I'm here and I'm enthusiastic about using chat GPT. Okay. So what I want y'all to do is remember that chat GPT is not your business. You're going to use it. You're going to leverage it as an assistant, as a researcher, as an uh, a partner that you can't afford to pay. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. Okay. But you still want to have a good base for how you're going to be building your business because what if chat GPT wasn't here? A lot of you guys said you aren't going to pay for the pro version. The pro version is coming and what are you going to do? So I don't want you to be fully dependent on chat GPT. All right. So I want you to know how to stand on your own two feet because we were doing business for hundreds of years before it came around. So I want you guys to be able to continue way past that. But it's a whole bunch of different other AI out there. Like I said, I've been using AI since before the scamdemic in 2020. OK, so it, 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 that's ChatGPT is is hot right now. But don't get so caught up on trends that you think that's the only way we're going to use it. I use ChatGPT. I leverage it because it's certain things that I don't want to pay humans for anymore. That's how I want you to think about it. Like. <laughs> what can you use it for uh, that you're currently paying somebody for that you don't need to pay them for anymore? OK, so look at chat GPT like that. OK. All right. So Alex says streaming stream running perfect uh, today. All praises to the most high, man. <laughs> All praises to the most high. So like I said, I unplugged a lot of things right now. The only thing I got plugged up is um, the light that you see. Uh, if Well, you, I don't know if you see it. and. Uh, um, Oh, the webcam. That's that's about all I got plugged up to the computer. Well, I got the charger plugged up to the computer, but usually I got a whole bunch of stuff plugged up, including this big old microphone. OK. Um, OK. So JM say I love uh, got my price range fifty dollars a month and it's still worth it. Are right, you, you talking about chat GPT, the pay version? Is that what you're talking about? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, OK, so it's a few things I want to show you guys first. Because we don't just do this. I'm not a person just going after money is not going to keep you there. It can get you there, but it ain't going to keep you there. If you ever notice, uh, a lot of the wealthiest people don't really care about money. Like they don't really care about it anymore. 
once you get it and you're able to afford everything that you ever wanted and stuff, you need to start thinking like that right now. Even though you want money right now, I want you to start thinking like you don't care about it or need it because it's going to unlock so much creativity. It's going to allow you to take so many more risks that can reward you uh, way better than if you penny pinch, if you're scared to make moves and all of that. Don't be like just closed in on money. But you want to be uh, wrap your mind around inheritance, wrap your mind around assets. That type of stuff. That's what wealthy people care about. Assets. Okay. Assets. Okay. Just remember that word. Assets. If you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets. Remember that. <laughs> Bars. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And then I'm going I'm to show you a couple things. Okay. So we're going to go to Proverbs. So make sure you guys are here on uh, Saturday, which is the Sabbath day at 11 a.m. Set your alarm right now. Set your reminder right now. We're going to go live. Okay. <clears throat> so this is why I do what I do, because a lot of our relatives, our families, our friends, our fathers, our uncles, our grandfathers, they leave us at the starting line at the race. When they die off, we are right back at the starting line, just like their parents left them. A lot of us have not been passed down inheritance. So I try to program you guys to understand the importance of creating assets. If you go and look on my channel and my channel art, it says this is anti-job university. We teach you entrepreneurship through asset ownership. Okay. Because there's no such thing as wealth without owning assets. You can get rich, but that gets taken away so easily. You know, currency changes, deflation. All, 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 all different types of stuff. All right. So uh, Proverbs 13, verse 22 says, A good man leaveth inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of a sinner is laid up for the just. Okay. So the wealth of a sinner is you just worrying about you at this particular time. You're a YOLO. You only live once. Oh, you do uh, you. Do you. I'm going to do me. All right. Um, I'm going to spend it till it's gone. You understand that type of mindset. You're just like giving the money right back to the other people. You understand? You need to leave an inheritance for your children's children. It says a good man does that because this life is hard. This life is hard. Why would you want your kid to go through all of the struggles that you had to? We are trained to, oh, my kid needs to struggle a little bit. They need to fight through it and all of that so they can appreciate. Listen. Check this out. Your children shouldn't even know what a job application is. If you have the, the ownership, the entrepreneurship mindset, that needs to be passed down first and foremost. First, first you need to give them God, right? But then you need to pass down that creative spirit. And then you need to actually bestow upon them assets. All of our forefathers in the Bible, before they died off, they called their sons into the room and they gave them their assets. They gave them a blessing. They're assets. So this is why I do what I do. So next, we're going to go over there to this one. So we got 19 people on here. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, General Newsom says, I will eventually build a spiritual retreat. Hey, that's where it's at. We got Jack uh, from Cali. What's going on? Okay, so let me share the screen right here. We are going to, what's this? Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Watch this. So this is another reason you, why you want assets. This is the reason why I teach you guys and I preach this stuff, the importance of it. This is not just some make money fast uh, <laughs> YouTube video bull crap. Okay, yeah, make some money. But how fast do you spend it? How fast does your income tax money go? How fast does your pension go? How fast does your retirement fund go? That stuff is trash. I need you to understand that just getting your short-term money isn't enough. You need leverage, okay? Okay, so here it goes. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. A feast is made for laughter and wine maketh merry. So everything got a purpose, right? But watch this. But money answereth all things. So if you need a lawyer, you got to have money for a lawyer, right? <laughs> a lot of the Italians, they can pay off the judges. No, I ain't going to get too deep into that. But you, you, you get what I'm trying to say. You can make moves. 
All right. So you, it's important for you to have money, guys. It's very important. So if anybody tried to teach you in a, in a, in that the Bible don't go over that, or in the church they try to tell you you've been greedy or some crap like that, if you care about money, they're lying. Okay. So let's go over here. I'm gonna close that one out, and we're about to get to the today's uh, work in a second. So make sure y'all bear with me. But your minds need to change in order for your wallets to change. Okay. I, I, I don't. Because I don't want you to lose it. God will build you up and then take it all away if your spirit and your mind ain't right. Okay? So watch this. <sighs> and trust me, I know that by like <laughs> experience. Okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12. And this is why I strongly suggest you show up on the Sabbath day with me. Because it's not just the money thing. Watch this. Watch this. Pay attention. For wisdom is a defense. Watch this. And money is a defense, but, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. So you need to have money and wisdom. Think about all the people that get rich from a lottery and die or, or get a record deal and go back to the hood and get shot up because they got the money but they didn't get the wisdom with it. This is why, like I used to think all that fluffy mindset stuff that uh, the gurus do, I thought that stuff was like BS. No, but you need to be, just like when you come back from war or something in the military, you have to be debriefed and you have to be reprogrammed to go back into regular society with regular civilians. Your mind has to be right. Everybody's not an enemy. You don't want to blow up the dang on shop down the street because they ain't fixed your donut right, right? So <laughs> it's the same thing with this. Your mind needs to be prepped before you reach another level of wealth because you don't want to do stupid stuff with it, all right? And you don't want to lose it all after all the work, all that hard work, okay? So it says, you're excellent if you gain wisdom with money. That's how your generations continue. If you pass down your kid just money and he's just some rich little snob, uh, disobedient brat that don't care about the legacy that you tried to build for him, like little Romeo, uh, masterpiece son. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he didn't pass down enough wisdom with it. You see what I'm saying? So you don't want them to tear down everything that you built in the next generation, right? So you need wisdom with it. Okay, so we're about to get to work. I just wanted to give you guys some of that because I know I know we're all here to make some money, but <laughs> we got to have the wisdom with it or we're going to make you're going to make mistakes anyway. A lot of these mistakes can drown you out. Uh, KFC said, let's get the likes up. Yes, Lord. OK, we got um, Alex. He said all about the kids. Trick love kids. Yes, Lord. Uh, love I am said is building a pipeline opposed to carrying buckets back and forth. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, um, okay, for those of you who are emailing about the perfect SEO game plan, I'm gonna make sure that's uh, that's sent out to you guys, uh, way before way before it's too late, okay? So you're gonna need the perfect SEO game plan, especially for what we're talking about today, okay? Uh, so, and if you wanna know why I take my hat off when the scriptures come out, is in the Bible, you can just go and read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Um, at the beginning of the chapter, it'll talk about how a man is supposed to take his hat off or his head covering when he's praying or prophesying, uh, prophesying or speaking to the Lord and a woman is supposed to cover her head or you're disrespecting those above you. OK, uh, Gary said, yes, I need that. Thank you. Yeah, it's real. OK, yes, Lord. Um, I don't really know who created the James. I don't really know who created that acronym basic instruction before leaving Earth. Um, I mean, I don't know, but you got to remember, what does the prayer say? I mean. Well, it depends on if you're going to heaven or hell, right? <laughs> if you're going to, to the pit, then I mean, but the pit is going to be going to be here, too. Remember, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven It's already a kingdom up there. Our job was Adam's job was to create the kingdom as a mirror reflection down here. So this world right here is going to be destroyed and pass away. 
You can read about that in Obadiah. And then God is going to establish his new kingdom here. Then we're going to be risen from the dead. So we're not going to heaven. Heaven is coming here for those of us that make it in. <laughs> right? Um, okay, so Amaya says, do you know any softwares that make animation using AI? Um, it's, yeah, stu something called Studio uh, Creator Pro or something like that. I was looking at it the other day. I haven't tested it out yet. I'll do a little research on it and get back to you. I don't want to give you the wrong information, all right? Okay. <clears throat> so I need you guys to be proactive. I need you to be active. I need you to let me know, like, specific assets that you are building out right now. It's the only way that I can help you start getting traffic to them. If you don't tell me what you're building or whatever business you already own, like, do you already own a business? I can use it as an example right now uh, of how you can start getting uh, traffic and sales to it easily. It's the, form the same formula we use for everything. Um, JM said, as a Hasidic Jew and Eastern Orthodox Christian, I go for Buddhism. <sighs> well, I'm not here to <laughs> talk religion because according to the Bible, there's no such thing as a religion. Only thing it is, is the commandments and consequences of breaking those laws. So I'm not really going to like go back and forth because Buddhism, I mean, like, what is it really? Uh, if you go deep into all of the other religions, you'll see that every language is all derived is a derivative of Hebrew. Um, I mean, but I'm not going to get into that. So but over here, as for my family, we're going to serve the Lord, the most high. All right. So Simply Neek says a, a skin care line is what I'm working on. Perfect. OK. Amaya says I uh, have an English school but I don't know how to promote it as I'm not comfortable on camera. <laughs> I want to use AI to be able to promote and grow my school. Any tips? Yes, that's exactly what we're here for. I'm going to give you more than tips. All right. All right. Tyree, the, uh, the bot, the AI bot, the regular one that I showed you guys, that one should already be sent out to you. The scraping tool. Remember, I am getting the, the new version of it. Like it, it's not like an overnight thing. So I'm trying to make sure the new version is perfect so that everybody can download it on any type of device. As of right now, it only works on Windows. Um, uh, some people got Windows. Uh, I'm on a Mac right now, so I have to run Parallels. Is a software called Parallels that allows me to run Windows uh, on, a, on a Mac computer. Um, but we're working on that version, the new version of the, the IG scraper. And like I said, anybody that um, signed up for that is going to get that new version uh, on top of the one that they already got. OK, you're going to get the new version for free. OK, uh, JM said, what is a scraping tool specifically? A scraping tool is is just it's like a bot. <laughs> it's pretty much like a bot that is trained to scrape data from a website. It can scrape emails uh usernames you know um the following so basically the instagram tool he's talking about it can get the username uh the company name uh their their following how many people they are following their website their email address their phone number and you can take all of that stuff and you can blast out and message them using other ai and other software so that you can generate a massive amount of sales at a at a uh, rapid pace, okay? Uh, very good for CPA offers and all of that type of stuff, okay? Uh, JM said 902 followers in about four days on, what is that, TikTok? Is that good? Yes, that's good. Hey, listen, 902 followers is good on any platform. You know what I'm saying? If, if they're active and they actually participate with what you are talking about and trying to help them with, then that's good, man. Um, it's some, some entrepreneur that was talking about, I can't remember his name, but he said a thousand loyal fans. That's all you need to get rich for real, for real. And it's true. If you got a decent, uh, you know, priced, uh, offer and you got loyal fans and you really want to help them with, with your offer or whatever, if they're loyal fans and they believe in it and they know it, it can help them, then shoot a thousand people buy it. 
I mean, you're pretty much good, but you just have to make sure whatever you're selling to them can help them too, or that will be the last time you get to sell them something. Uh, Maya said, how to subscribe for that, uh, that scraper. It won't be ready to like next week, y'all. I don't want y'all to keep signing up for it. And then I got to keep telling y'all to wait. Okay. So I already got like three people waiting for the new version. Okay. Uh, I gave this other girl her money back because she didn't feel like waiting. So I was like, all right, well, <laughs> take your money back. But the new version, that one is going to be in English, of course, is going to be able to do everything the other one will do. Uh, the other one does. And it's going to have all the anti-job university branding on it. Okay. Um, Bun, Bun Stack said, look at my shop I started. Okay, let's check it out. Got to put the link in the description. I mean, not in the description. <laughs> you got to put the link in the uh, the chat or something so I can look it up or tell me how to look it up or something like that. All right. So all y'all can do that. Y'all can all put y'all websites in the chat. That is an easy way for me to, to like go ahead and calibrate what we need to do to get you some sales and traffic. Okay. And uh, we're going to go over ways to monetize your sites. There's multiple ways to monetize your sites, guys. You can't just be one dimensional, you know, just looking at, oh, I got a payment button right here. How are, what are all the ways that you're monetizing your site? Uh, James said, uh, bro, I need to create a course that teach people about metaphysics. How can you help? Well, I don't know anything about a metaphysic uh, metaphysics or anything like that. But excuse me, if you have the keywords for it, uh, what would a person type in? Then I can show you a plan to actually start getting sales and traffic to it. All right. But I, as personally, I have no idea what uh, metaphysics is. Uh, but if this course is already out there, I don't know if you guys saw the video that I did this morning. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Some of you guys might have been at work at that nine to five. Uh, it was at the nine to five, but if you're trying to thrive, you don't have to leave that because entrepreneurship is where we be at. Uh, don't be an outcast without cast Andre three stacks. Oh, you know. All right. So, um, JM say 500 followers gets you on the platform for affiliate for Amazon and 1000 followers lets you go live on TikTok. All praises to the most high. As you can see, live streams, um, you know, if you've done your research, <laughs> it's a good way to sell things because you get to answer people's questions and, and uh, cure their skepticisms and soothe their insecurities and their, and, and their hesitations and reservations and all of that extra stuff. Bars, yes. <laughs> all right, so Tyree said, men's watches and apparel, so we're going to get started. And uh, I'm trying to get a couple more of these, guys. Come on. Like it's 23 people on here. What other businesses are here? Y'all got to give me a challenge, man. So we got watches and apparel. We got, uh, who is that? Okay, so there's watching and apparel. That's Tyree. We got uh, Bun Sack say he got a shop, but I need to know like what what niche is the shop? Like what, what type of, and then Simply Neek say they have a skincare line. So that's skincare. And we have Skanker watches and apparel. That one's going to be fun. Uh, JM says, so, so people stuck in my situation can do something. Yeah. Oh, Passive Wealth Mastery is going to be my platform for good, reliable work from home sources, a blog, and kind of my promotional talk up for items to sell, uh, options for working at home. Okay. Uh, Gary... He said, including body scanning. Leandre said, trading strategies. Are you creating a platform for other people to trade? Or, or like, like, what is it? Is it just a blog where you're going to be like talking about the strategies, uh, good ways to, you know, win at it? Like, what is it? JM said, computers at home tech, high selling items that move uh, kind of thing. Okay. All right. I don't know why, but for some reason, when you go live, you get hot in the hood, boy. Ugh. And Alex said marketing. So we're going to start. Let me show you guys this first before we start going one by one through those uh, those profitable businesses that you guys are trying to build. Alex Barber said marketing, affiliate links. Okay. Um, 
Okay, let me go up a little bit. Okay, I like that. That's real talk, what he's saying about religion. Okay, I'm trying to find your... Do you have a platform, Alex? Because we, we can pass down the skill of affiliate marketing, for real, kind of, but do you do? Are you going to build a platform or something for it? Like, I want to help you like build an asset, okay? Um, so that you're not the one that's always doing. It's a book. I'm gonna show you guys a book, and I don't even know if you guys have read the Irresistible Offer, like I told y'all to. Probably not, which is why y'all probably asking me these questions, right? <laughs> but these books that I'm recommending to you, as you can see, I don't have no affiliate links. So don't look at it like I'm trying to sell you. I'm trying to get you guys to see the things that were pivotal, like like that helped me, like like change everything in my freaking life. Cause I hard times was up on me, boy. I, like I was feeling like a dang on a donkey being rode. Like you understand what I'm saying? Like hard times was was treacherous. You understand what I'm saying? Like I had to endure the 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 uh, unforgiving landscapes and and. <laughs> the tundra of alaska no i'm just playing but stuff was hard dude and a lot of these books man like once i read them see i'm not a person that read for entertainment i consume and then i i like it comes it comes out of me like you know bars you know okay so he said a blog all right alex says stock stocks alex is a barber okay so you're giving me some stuff i can work with that's good that's good uh, General Newsom says, yes, we need more options for working from home. There's a lot of single moms out there. And I heard child care can cost as much as college education. Yes, Lord. Hey, what's up, Colleen? I ain't seen you since like some of the first live streams. You understand? Know like, <laughs> like a couple of weeks ago or something. Uh, but you be busy. I understand. I always tell people it's life. Life happens on the other side of the phone. Our life happens on the other side of the camera. So I'll never blame you guys if you can't make it here live. All right. Um, <clears throat> but let me show you guys what I'm talking about right here. Round her. Round her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this one right here, guys. Let me share my screen. She says she always catches the replay. Oh, hey, that's where it's at. That's dedication, man. I appreciate that. Okay. So it's an anti job. Okay, so this one right here, guys. It says seven hours ago, create high ticket courses using ChatGPT to make money online. So I went more in depth in that video for how to actually create the dang on course itself, but not just that. See, I want you guys to realize that yes, people are typing in the same crap. You can't just say. Make me a course on metaphysics, ChatGPT. If you just type that in, you are going to get other people's information. Your, your prop game have to be solid. You understand? You have to know exactly how to sweet talk this thing right here. You know what I'm saying? ChatGPT is that chick at the club. You understand? They turn down like 15 dudes right in front of you. Now you like, dang. All right. So how can I approach that? I'm going to be like, I'm going to get a different result. Boom. If you can ask yourself that before you talk to Chat GPT, you're going to come out with original content, original ideas that stand out. You're not going to get the same, like the same stuff. Nobody's going to be able to say, oh, that's plagiarized content, or uh, um, Google isn't going to rank that, or some bull crap like, oh, it's not valuable. Some bull crap I heard in the comments. No. If your course turns out to not be valuable, it's because you're not paying attention. You're getting super excited about ChatGPT, but you got to calm down. It's not God. It's just a tool. Okay? And it's awesome. It's an awesome tool, but calm down. You still got to be you. You got to put you in there to be unique, to make it work and bring out something valuable. Okay? So that video shows you how to outline it. You can take the outline of a popular course that's proven because the Bible says, let all your ways be established. Established mean proven. Meaning don't reinvent the freaking wheel because now you got to do the trial and error. You understand? So take something that's proven, but make it completely unique. You understand? And up the level of value on it. Okay. So a lot of people was like, oh, well, the B-roll, if we use Pictori, B-roll ain't going to be all that. Well, fine. Take your time and do the B-roll on your own then. Like, I mean, guys, nobody is trying to put a pacifier in your mouth. 
I'm just telling you that these tools can make your jobs a lot easier and you can fire some of your virtual assistants. Okay, so maybe you don't let ChatGPT, maybe you don't let Pictori do the voiceover. Maybe you do the voiceover. Okay, that's cool. But Pictori can still turn the script into a video. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so just leverage these things. ChatGPT, it can come up with the outline of the course. If you, if you, when you go back and watch this video, guys, if you go back and watch that video, I don't know if you guys seen it, saw it. Um, <laughs> but I took a course from Udemy. And I compared it to a course that was on Google for $2,500. The Udemy version of that course, I think it was only like $189 because they won't let you charge what you want to charge on Udemy. This is why I tell you guys to have your own platforms, guys. You got to have your own assets, okay? Or you're at liberty or you're, you're at the mercy, I mean, of the platform owner. They got the power, like that 80s song or early 90s. I don't know, but you get what I'm trying to say. So basically, I took that same outline of that course and I made it to where people would easily pay $2,500 for it. And then I showed in this video how to get traffic to it. And we didn't go after national terms because then you're competing with all of the people that got bigger budgets than you. He took it to the local level, the local level. OK, so we're going to do all of that in this video. I mean, in this live stream as well. I said in this video. Now, y'all don't think I'm live. <laughs> like, oh, he's tricking us. He's making us think he's live. <laughs> OK. Um, Gary says, Victoria is the bomb. Yes, Lord. Uh, Bonsack says, how do you create a website like you to me? You can get it cloned. It's very easy. You can get a clone. Um, JM says, these tools do help but you have to double check the tools to make sure it's original and not dub. That's what I was saying, guys. Uh, some of you guys might be new here, but I already didn't show you guys exactly how to make sure your stuff is original. You can't just go to ChatGPT and give it a, a, a single command. Uh, create me an outline for a romance novel. Of course it's gonna put, it, you gotta make ChatGPT work. You got to make chat GPT sweat. You got to put that trick. <laughs> now I'm just playing. You got to put her out on a stroll. You understand what I'm talking about? Like chat GPT need to go out there and get your money for you. You know, <laughs> you got to understand. You can't just give it these same blanket like requests that everybody is. If you're going to say, hey, I need you to write me an outline for a romance novel. Pause. But it needs to be taking place during Christmas time. Oh. So now we got to work a little bit harder, but it's not just a romance novel. It's an action romance novel or a comedy romance novel that's taking place during Christmas time. On top of that, it is uh, um, they're facing issues of uh, gender inequality or some crap like that. So you got to throw all these different things inside there and then pause. <laughs> And then is no way possible that that it will be a book already out there like that or a course already out there like that. Chat G, you're going to make it to where ChatGPT can't derive from just some regular book or regular course because there's not many romance novels out there that is taking place. They're taking place during Christmas, but it's going over gender inequality and it happened during uh, the Cold War or the Gulf War or 9-11 or something. <laughs> you got to like give it like all of this, like these different scenarios and stuff, guys. I'm joking around with you, but I'm dead serious. When I talk to ChatGPT, I don't say, hey, give me an article for real estate on why uh, this is the perfect year to move. No, no, of course you probably going to get it. Of course, the easiest thing you can do. Like who doesn't take the easy route? Just because it's AI doesn't mean it ain't going to take the easy route, right? <laughs> of course, it's just going to go get some article that's ranking very well for that and give it to you. No. Hey, I need you, ChatGPT, to tell me 10 reasons why 2023 is the perfect time to move from New York to Florida. Include recommendations on which moving companies, long distance moving companies, I should use. And when I get there, which beaches should I visit? Oh, and what is the average 
cost per living in these specific rich neighborhoods that I'm looking for? Oh, and what real estate company should I contact when I get there? You need to go hard. That's how you would talk to a virtual assistant. You wouldn't just tell a virtual assistant, go write me a, a real estate article. You will fire them because they won't know what to do. They'll come back with some dumb stuff. Probably like what ChatGPT is doing right now. That's because you ain't being specific about what you want. You understand? You got to be specific about what you want, just like a relationship. If you tell some chick, hey, man, I'm looking to be in a relationship with you. Well, this is 2023 now, guys. I mean, I'm 36 and the world is completely different from how it was just like five to 10 years ago. So if you tell a chick, I'm looking to be in a relationship with you today, that could mean a million things. <laughs> that don't mean you want to be exclusive. That don't mean that you ain't trying to be in some poly relationship. That don't mean that like, you know, you got to be <laughs> nowadays, you got to be specific. So it's the same thing with chat GPT. You got to say exactly what you want or it's going to be some type of misunderstanding. And then you're going to say, oh, this software is crap. No, it's not. Your request is crap and lazy. You can't be lazy, guys. It's already going to do the work for you. So the least you can do is put the effort <laughs> using that. So that's what it means by, by like smart work. You understand? You ain't got to write the article. Let chat GPT do that. But at least you can put the effort into expressing what you want you want it to turn out like okay so that's how that's how you're gonna get you know what i'm saying what you want out of chat gpt bun stack said how do you clone an app well you can just go on a lot of different sites fiverr craigslist um upwork you can just do a, a search on github <laughs> There's a lot of different places, man. That you, oh, you can go on the developer groups on Facebook and just tell people, you know, give them a vague. Don't tell them your exact idea and all that because somebody will steal it, especially if they know how to build it. Right. So you can find people in those places. If you ain't got the money, you just tell them, hey, I'll make you a partner then. Boom. OK, so that's how you can clone it. You just tell them, hey, I need an app that's similar to this app. I need an app like DoorDash. And like, Oh, that's going to cost a lot of money. Well. I ain't got a lot of money. What can we do? There's a whole bunch of open source code out there. Uh, you guys can research GitHub. They got a lot of open source code out there that's just like the stuff that they use all of these uh, to build all these massive sites um, out here. And you just reach out to these guys on there and you tell them your vision and you tell them, listen, I can give you equity or I can make you a partner because I can't pay you right now. You know, because a lot of the stuff is already out there. You're not really paying for the site. You're paying for the knowledge of the developer to make your, your vision come true. I can go and get you a clone site super cheap, but that doesn't mean it's going to pop off or function how you want it to. OK, so that's another reason why you need to know what you want. JM says, as well as what should I stay away from and why? Hold on. Or, hold on. My detailed description has gone over a half a dozen times. Man, my phone just cut off. I never have stuff charged. Uh, he said, I'm happy with what I wrote or something for a child's readability at a child's level to understand kids' gloves. Believe in yourself says, to have a great potential to reach the most with your message. I have read that your content said to be understood at the fourth grade level is good. That's okay. Yeah, you can. that's something you can tell ChatGPT too. Use a whole bunch of different adjectives and and uh, I one of my things is I like to tell it to use modern day slang terms, include humor and jokes, include references to popular celebrities. If you're doing that, there's no way possible it can just pull from some random already indexed book. It's it's just not like okay, uh, a joke about Lindsay Lohan, and, and you know what I'm saying like if you t if yeah, be creative. We are creators like our father that is above, right? Okay. Uh, believe in yourself says to compose a worth prompt is a, a worthwhile endeavor. Yes. Uh, Bobby Everything says, can you please let us know where to get the SEO playbook and scrapers? Scrapers will be available. The new version will be available next week, Lars will. And the scrape, uh, uh, oh, that's what I just said. The SEO game plan. The perfect SEO game plan you just email 
and I'll send that to you for free. All right. Uh, JM says cloning of apps as Google, GPT-3, GitHub, Discords, a lot of places. True. He said, oh, I was joining you in your convo at that time. Oh, OK. All right. All right. So so you guys got this. If you guys are creating a course, somebody on her, I think he was talking about your metaphysics. Was it metaphysics course? Can't remember. Guy. Uh, the, the chat went up and I can't see it no more. Um, but this video right here would be perfect for anybody that is trying to get traffic and sales to their course. OK, I made it specifically for courses is not talking about everything else or any other type of business. It's specifically for courses. So I strongly suggest you guys go back and watch this one. It's called Create High Ticket Courses Using ChatGPT to Make Money Online. I go through an entire outline, how to get each course video content, how to get each video made. But the most important part is how to get the income, how to get the sales to your courses. All right. So it is, it's going to go through all of that. OK, so that's why we got a lot of people um typing perfect seo game plan because in this video i was telling them to uh comment perfect seo game plan or email me and i'll send it to them so i'm gonna get that out to you guys okay okay he said meta metaphysic then we got somebody named drip animal form cryptocurrency wow that's that's a, a name man all right so we're gonna start off with the um what is it called he said watches and apparel okay so this is what you want to do when you're about to start any SEO uh, plan. OK, I'm going to go over an SEO plan and I'm going to go over other like paid traffic plans as well. Well, when you leave here, when all of you, well, not all of you, because we'll be on here to like midnight and the Sabbath comes when the sun comes down and you can't work during the Sabbath, guys. So when the sun goes down, I can I can't work no more, man. I can't work. And you shouldn't either, right? Because he spent six days creating the world and he rested on the Sabbath. So if he's going to rest, then you should. Yes, Lord. Okay. So he said watches and apparel. Watches and apparel. So we go over here to Google. First thing I do when I'm looking to get quick, fast results with SEO uh, and traffic and everything like that, I just come to Google Trends. Okay. So let me know in the comments, is this men's watches or just watches specifically? Like, I mean, just watches in general, I mean. Is it men's watches or is it just watches in general? Let me know, man. I want to know, man. And for you guys that are on here, you stay on here. We're going to go through you guys' businesses as well. So just be patient with me. We're going to one by one this. I think we'll start doing this a lot because that's what I want to do. I want to be able to give you guys things when you... Because you guys are giving me your attention. So I'm, I'm not a person that does not appreciate that type of stuff because you can be other places right now. A lot of people are leaving the live stream right now and going to do some other crap because it's Friday and they want to go out. Uh, but for you guys to stay on here, I appreciate that. And I want to show you guys uh, something that can be valuable to you. OK, so Tyree said my my store sells men's watches. OK, so then we'll just come over here. And we'll type in men's watches and we'll say for sale. All right. So remember, what did I tell you guys the other day? I, if you were on here, you should remember what I said about Google Trends. Google Trends is like a sneak peek behind Google Analytics. Google.com is just a gigantic website with a gazillion pages that answers all of your questions. That's all it is. Don't look at Google as some mystical, magical thing. It's just a website. That's why it has a .com. But it just has so many pages that it can answer pretty much anything you type in there. So just like you can look at the analytics in your website, hmm, people are looking at these pages on my website. You can do the exact same thing with Google. Google Trends is Google.com's analytics. So this is how you can predict what will do good because google is allowing us to see what pages or what search terms are giving them the uh, a, a lot of traffic okay all right so now that we know that what i like to do is i like to go through a time period and i like to pick out consistency i strongly suggest you guys start doing this as well when you're starting your campaigns if you don't know anything about seo guys 
don't worry. Just keep staying here. I simplify it, and I'm going to give you the perfect SEO game plan, and you'll know exactly how to do all of this stuff, okay? You will know how to do it. JM said in three days in, I'm three days in on a 14-day pay or vacate notice. I'm staying put to get this down because what I've been doing hasn't worked. <sighs> That's a smart dude right there. The Bible says stubbornness is as the sin of witchcraft. You know, they used to burn witches. Witches died. So it's a good thing that he's not going to be stubborn. It's a good thing that he notices, yo, I already been trying stuff and the what things I was trying, it just ain't working. So he's willing to try other things. You guys got to be like that. Okay. All right. So man watches for sale. So we're going to try 90 days, 30 days, and then seven days. Whichever cities and states are congruent or are, uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? They show up for all of those. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a specific word. A uh, common denominator keep popping up in my head, but I don't know if that's right. Okay. Whichever cities and states show up for the, most of these searches, those are the ones that get consistent traffic. That way we know they're not just getting some uh, trend traffic based off of like, oh, some, some, you know, maybe the Macy Day Parade came in town or, or some type of holiday or something. We want something that's going to get consistent sales over time. You don't want to rank for a keyword and then like it's dead. Nobody is searching it no more. That sucks. Okay. So let's go past 90 days and see which city and state gets searches for men's watches for sale. All righty. And we stroll down and we got Ohio. We got New Jersey, New York, California, Oregon. All right. Damn, I ain't got no pen. Where is the damn pen? I keep my kids always coming and taking my pens. I never bring them back, dude. That's crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> so y'all just remember these for me. Ohio, New Jersey, New York, California, Oregon. So now that's 90 days out. Let's see which of those states are still going to be there when we do 60 days. Uh, or, uh, not 60. Where is the 60 days? Okay. So it just got 30 days. My bad. All right. <clears throat> there's 90 days. Now we got 30 days. Hey, we still got Ohio. I remember Ohio being there. Was Oregon there too? Let me know. If Oregon was on there, put an O in the chat. Put an O without Omarion, okay? All right, we got, so we got two for Ohio so far. That's, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, and now we're going to try seven days. Let's see if Ohio wins again. Seven days, baby. Seven days like the ring. Oh man, where is Ohio? Well, so we got Oregon twice and we got Ohio twice. And Ohio's all the way back here when we got the last, what's that, seven days? But I still, since it got two out of three, I would say it's safe. So we got two out of three with Oregon and we got two out of three with Ohio. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Let me know, let me know, let me know. And then down here, it just tells you, you know, it gives you specific keywords that people are actually searching specifically okay so this type of watch men's luxury watches blah 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 so those are some keywords we can go after all right so we can mess with this one it's hot now but i don't remember it being was it was it on the list on the other so this 30 days nope no florida right there 90 days nope no florida so we're gonna stick with our Oregon and Ohio. So let's see what city in Ohio. Okay. Is it not going to tell us which city in Ohio? Let's come back up here. We'll do 30 days. See if we can get the city. Trying to get the specific city. Yeah. Your search doesn't have enough data to show here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a manual search. Google will tell us everything we need to know. So let's see if Oregon has enough searches though. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> nope, still not enough. So all we got to go off of uh, uh, is Oregon and Ohio. So let's go over there to Google. So I'm showing you guys exactly how we do it. Exactly how we do it. How you don't need a million dollars to beat the big boys at SEO. All right, so watch this. We're going to say men's watches, and we're going to do Ohio. Hey, see? So I told you Google would tell us. So we're going to say Columbus, Ohio, right here. All right. So JM say he's from there. Hey, that's where is it. Okay. 
All right. So what we're going to do, guys, we need the related keywords to it too. So these are the related keywords. All I did was put the cursor right behind it. Okay. So you want to write those down, guys. And it's something that I stopped doing that a lot of you guys might want to ask me about. You might want to ask me about amount of searches for a keyword. Hey, Yazreel or David, how do I know how many searches per month a keyword gets? Check this out. Don't be lazy. You want to blanket. You want to dominate. If you were on our first Sabbath class together, we talked about subduing, domination, obliteration of competition. So you want all the keywords. I don't care if it gets 10 searches per month. Okay? So it doesn't matter about search volume. You need to be there. <laughs> you need to be ranking for that, whatever it is. Okay? All right? Another reason why I don't do that anymore is because Google really don't mess around too much if something don't get searches. Google is the best search engine out there. So this box right here, this is a genie bottle. When you type something into the search box, you're rubbing the genie. <laughs> and the answer that comes out is your wish being granted. So when you type in men's watches, Columbus, Ohio, it is going to suggest what it thinks you want, but it's going to base that off of previous searches. So this basically what I'm saying is this stuff wouldn't show up by itself if nobody was searching for it. So that's a good indicator right there that people are getting searches for it. You're going to get traffic if you're ranking for those things. You don't need no tool. So all you're going to do with those SEO tools is go after the same keywords as the other SEOs and create too much competition for yourself. And you can be like, David, man, I ain't got a big enough budget <laughs> to compete with these other dudes. Well, that's why I was trying to tell you. Find the keywords yourself. Don't monkey see, monkey do it. Okay? So you will take these. Rolex is telling you specific uh, search terms that people are searching for. Rolex, Columbus, Ohio. Omega watches Columbia, uh, Columbus, Ohio. So you want to write those down. Then we got Breitling. I think that's Breitling uh, watches Columbus, Ohio. So I'm going to show you how to gauge the level of competition for these keywords. Uh, and then we're going to find some other long tail keywords for this. This is being recorded. So you guys can definitely come back and watch this. I probably have it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know because we're going live at 11 tomorrow. So it probably won't go up tomorrow. It'd probably be Sunday or something. I don't know. But my point is just come back and watch this so that you guys have a good understanding for how to get traffic to your assets. This is not just for watches. This works the same in any niche. That's why when I uh, do my agency work and a client comes to me, they say, well, I see you got him good results, but how do I know you can get us good results? Are there people searching for what you have? Yes. Well, if it's people, all you got to do is get in front of them. I don't care what you're selling. All you got to do is get in front of them. They're people. Okay. So use this same blueprint for anything you guys are selling. Okay. All right. So now that you know you got some keywords just by putting the cursor behind it, you can also get more if you put the space. You just say space. See, it gave you some more keywords. But this is what you really want to pay attention to. You put the cursor in front, then you put all in title space. And then you put presenter. As you can see, it's only three competing websites going after this specific keyword, like specifically. Okay. I'm not saying there's only three watch websites in Columbus, Ohio. What I'm saying is is only three with these with this keyword specifically in its page name, like intentionally trying to rank for this keyword. Other ones are showing up, but that's just coincidental because Google needs to fill up the page with something, right? But if you intentionally go after this keyword, meaning you name the page this keyword, and you have the men's watches on there, and you have content about Columbus, Ohio on that page. So this is two things in SEO, guys. I'm not trying to get too technical. Let me make sure you guys can still hear me because sometimes when I share my screen, y'all yeah, be like disappearing or I'll be disappearing. Put a one in the chat if y'all can still hear me, man. Come on. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. I'm ready to go right now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. 
before I proceed to give you what you need. Okay. Man, this is way funner. Way more fun. I don't think there's a word funner. This is way... <laughs> this is... I'm getting sleepy, y'all. I've been up since super early. Okay. This is way more fun than back in the day when I used to do... Like, I was just an SEO and... You know, all this stuff was underground. And anytime you told people you made money online, everybody thought it was a scam. I remember I told everybody before the scandemic, because I know the government, I said, it's going to be a day. Like people used to say, oh, uh, David, I want to do this online stuff, but I I don't know. It's, it's, I don't really know if it's real or I don't know if it works. I don't know if working home, working from home is for me and stuff. I said, it's going to be a day where everything shuts down and you ain't gonna have a choice to work from but to work from home and like a couple months after that <laughs> the scandemic happened and then the government told everybody to work from home now all of a sudden y'all believe in working from home but at first just a couple months ago it was a scam it was a scam to work from home. <laughs> so i predicted the scandemic man ain't that crazy you could go back on some of my videos. I was talking about it like three months before. And then out of nowhere, just boom. <laughs> like, yes, Lord. Colleen said, yes, Lord. Um, okay, so men's watches. So we got this one keyword. And you can see it is only three. Three competing pages. So the next thing I do, now that I know it's three intentionally competing pages, I scan the uh, first page of Google and I check out the competitors to see if their on-page SEO is up to par. Like, what am I dealing with here? Or do they really know what they're doing? Or is this one of those niches where YouTube is just ranking them because, I mean, YouTube has to have an answer for everything. And, you know, it's certain searches when you'll search Google for, for something and nothing pops up and it just looks super weird. It's like, a that's when you really know Google is a website. Like, it'd be like a blank page and say, sorry. <laughs> no, no, nothing shows up for this or some crap. Okay, so number one weakness is we have a directory ranking number one. That's another, that's an indicator that it is a weak page. Okay, a weak search term. Next, it is a Facebook ranking. What is this? One, two, three. A Facebook page is ranking number four or a marketplace listing on Facebook. That's that shouldn't be happening. If this if this was a high comp competition search, guys, then this a Facebook wouldn't be ranking on the first page of Google, and a Yelp wouldn't be number one. So who is this that got the watches? What's this? Who is this? Uh, let me go back up. Is this Tyree? Who who is this selling a watch? Yeah, Tyree. Hey man, I hope you're paying attention, bro, because all you have to do <laughs> is make a page on your on your site. Just create a page on your site called Men's Watches in Columbia, uh, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Just make a page. Like just by the exact match keyword. Like this, this, this first page is almost like 2013 SEO competition. So that's gonna give you a boost just by naming the page that. Okay. And then when you put your metadata, this little part right here, you don't want a keyword stuff, but you want to include it in this part right here. OK, that's the description of your web page. OK, just in case you guys don't know that. All right. All right. So we got a Yelp. We got a Facebook. Then huh, we got a Walmart. Walmart.com on the first page of Google. Now, Walmart is a huge entity, but their online game isn't that G. <laughs> their online game sucks, which is why Amazon beat them out, because Amazon took the online route. Uh, understood the power of SEO. Amazon was like, well, we got, I mean, Walmart was like, we got all these offline stores. We still killing it. So now you see them trying to do a little something. something. Okay. So my point is you see a Walmart on the first page, you see a Yelp and you see a Facebook. Now we're going to check out the actual brands other than the big brands and see the competition. Most people care more about cosmetics of their website than they do about the actual optimization to be able to get sales and traffic, okay? Uh, see, it's, it's pretty much like bare bones. It's just a whole bunch of images. I mean, it, it'll, it'll convert well for sales. Whew, this is a pretty penny right here. Y'all see this? Y'all need to be selling this stuff. Let's get some drop shipping games. Some, 
that's what I like to do. If I do drop uh, shipping, it's local. Like I don't do all that national uh, Facebook ad stupid stuff. No, like I will take something that's already local and I will rank it. That's because I'll be able to get like first day delivery type stuff or they can pick it up. So I'm always going to have good reviews. So you guys got to use a little bit of that. So I'll sell lawnmowers, <laughs> riding lawnmowers or riding tractors or a uh, form equipment or something that somebody can just come and pick up. You see what I'm saying? I create one of those drop shipping sites. All right, boom. So, all right. So it got a little content on here, but it's, you know, unless they got some crazy backlinks going to this, it'll be fairly easy to beat. Then we're going to look at this one right here. All right. Pretty much the same thing. Mighty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, snap. <laughs> Okay, so as y'all can see, man, there's nothing to fret over. The best thing to do would be to get in this snack pack right here. Um, yes, Gary, dropship local. I have the course. The course is called local commerce or local e-commerce. I teach dropshipping locally. Like a lot of you guys like sell shirts and and hats and different little stuff like that, but it's super simple to sell that stuff locally way like easier than like putting up some Facebook ads and some BS right there. The intent on Google, the buyer intent on Google is, is crazy higher than it is on social media or traditional social media. Uh, General Nuisance says, I heard Radio Shack sells crypto now. Wow. Uh, Gary said, brilliant. Uh, appreciate it. I'll praise it to the most high. Um, Tyree said, yes, he's on it. JM says, they are rebranding old business a new way now okay cool all right so check this out if you want to get in here i also have a course called the snack pack attack google snack pack attack a few things have changed with the google uh the last google google update excuse me which makes it a little bit more difficult to keep your listings up but if you can do a partnership with an actual store okay then you can create a new listing then you'll be able to use my google snack pack attack course to be able to outrank or flood the snack pack and take all of these spots and this is really where 85 to 90 percent of the phone call volume and sales volume come from right up in here so this is a sweet spot you understand what i'm talking about but since it only has like two places right here that means you'll automatically rank third anyway so you'll get crazy traffic anyway or if you're um, your organic website ranks right up under here above Yelp. You, you'll be number three. So, because two is not a winner and three, nobody remembers. No, I was just playing. All right. <laughs> so, you definitely want to get up in here though eventually. But you can start off with your website page and then you can contact one of these guys say, Hey, I want to partner with you. I got a lot of clients and customers and all of this extra stuff. I just need you to uh, help me verify that I'm actually local. Because Google has got super strict with all of this BS and they keep wiping out listings and stuff. Okay. So once you're in here, then you use the snack pack attack to outrank, outrank your competitors. I don't know why I just got some type of chill situation. <sighs> Weird. Um, okay, so yeah, you got that, right? Got that. You got how to use the code and keyword ratio. You got how to gauge um the um what is it? Gauge the level of competition. You got all of that, okay? So then how to get more keywords. You got how to do that. You can put the space behind it or you can just leave the regular cursor. And you can also do the alphabet method. And what I mean by that is just you put the cursor in front of it and you put A. So we'll do A, oh no, B. So you see some other keywords popping up and we'll do C, Columbus Watch Store, that's a new one. D, Diamond Men Watches Columbus. See that? I've been doing this stuff, man, for a long time, y'all. So there's a lot of things I'm going to show you. Uh, e. And we do the F. See if anything shows up with that G. George Men's Watches. G-Shock. G-Shocks. You know. Uh, here we go with this. I. J. J. Crew Men's Watches. K. <laughs> Cole. L. Luxury Watches. Boom. Look at this. That's a good one right there. M N O. So this can be a very tedious uh, process, guys. This is why I say, you know, what I'm saying you can also use ChatGPT to do this. P stuff like that. Okay. 
All right, let's see if we can use ChatGPT to find us some keywords for this. Yeah, I want to see if we can use ChatGPT to do this because it'll probably be a lot faster. <laughs> I still like to double check it because I, you know, that's one of the things I I actually like doing manually. I get like actual enjoyment. What do they call it? A SMR or some bull crap, some some new term. Like I I, I don't be in a world, y'all. The Bible says a friend of the world is an enemy of God. So I don't really be, I don't, I'm not up on all the new stuff. Like for the past like five to seven years, I like kind of, I don't know who the new rappers are. They probably lame anything all the way. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know nobody like SZA. I didn't even know she was from St. Louis. I didn't even know Metro Boomin was from St. Louis. I ain't know none of that stuff. Like I'm out of the country and all of that stuff. So, but this right here, Let's see. Uh, give me more related keywords to the following. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with, baby. <sighs> give me all the watch watches for sale keyword in in Ohio. Come on, man, do your work. Do your work. Let me crack the whip. Okay, Ohio watches for sale. Watches Ohio. Ohio watch deals. Ohio watch source. Look at this, man. Look at it, man. Look at it go. It's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, luxury watches. Ohio watch brands. Mm. So these are all keywords that you want to include in your content strategy for your SEO on your website as well as um your videos if you do videos or something on youtube i saw that those watch videos be getting like hella hundreds of thousands of views and stuff you can sell a lot of watches just by creating a youtube channel and optimizing it properly look at this ohio watch online shopping outlets we do continue mm. Okay, so you're just getting like crazy amounts of keywords. It would usually take forever to do this, y'all. And for the ones that you really, 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 really uh, uh, have a good feeling about, you just go take in, into Google, paste them over there, and do the golden keyword ratio for it. So what you want to do, man, is you want to make sure that you create good SEO content. Okay? Do not just take this and say, write an article about. Okay? <laughs> Let's Let's see. Let's see if we can take one so I can uh, show you what I'm talking about while I west side walk it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. All righty. So we'll say, write me an article about Ohio watches for sale. Include uh, the names of the top brands. Include example prices. Create a compare um, and contrast. Uh, you see how I'm getting like super specific with it? Um, let's see. Include. Uh, what's another one? Okay, so we got write me an article about Ohio watches for sale. Include the names of the top brands. Include example prices. Create a compare and contrast. Okay. Include facts about um which watches has the longest uh was it shelf life include a good faq for each uh watch brand okay so <laughs> let's see what it comes up with do y'all see how specific i had to get so i'm gonna copy this just in case is experiencing too many searches right now and it and it tries to delete something so we'll go let's see what it comes up with so this is exactly what you do and you can create a page out of all of these keywords and create like a silo all right and what a silo is it's kind of like a spider web a little bit but basically you want the your main page your main page will be ohio watches for sale but then all of these other pages are their sub pages, like sub niche pages. You understand what I'm saying? And they're all going to link back to this specific page right here, this main page. And it's going to share link juice. 
the main powerful pages are going to share link juice with all of those sub pages helping them rank and those all of those pages are going to link back helping the gigantic page rank for the biggest keywords okay do y'all understand that put a one in the chat if you get that if you get that break me off in the cash app like a kit kat no i'm just fine all right so all right so we got it right here ohio is a great place to buy watches or uh, as there are a variety of options available for consumers okay so now i'm gonna do this okay it's still writing y'all it's still writing okay yeah lifespan okay hey what's up tuesday i got your email give me a second all right we got you we got your back we got your back okay did it stop now we're gonna say rewrite everything above in spanish no I'm just playing <laughs> okay but it's something i'm going to show you guys that nobody else will show you so uh i do something called the bilingual takeover i don't just do things in english because it's not only english speakers that are searching to buy things on google so i do everything that i do in english i do it in the most popular languages in the most popular countries and that way i can triple or quadruple my sales so i'm gonna show you so i do like foreign seo and all of that type of stuff because french google is not as competitive as american google uh spain's google uh bolivia's google mexico's google bosnia's google none of their google is is as competitive as the united states so i the same thing that would take you six months to rank for in america you could probably rank for in two days over there in in, in uh johannesburg <laughs> And still make a lot of money. Hold on, y'all. Why well, smell like something burning? Okay. Yeah, y'all know I'm ghetto. All right. I just smell something. It smells like something is burning or something. Okay, so rewrite everything above in uh in a more humorous style. Uh include jokes. You know, uh, uh replace big words with more simple words <laughs> okay so now it's just rewriting everything up there but it's making it more human do you guys understand this is how you use chat gpt so like you still don't have to do it yourself you know what i'm saying you you just have to know what to ask chat gpt y'all so now this is creating the articles that i'm going to be putting on my site on top of that when this is done, I'm just going to tell it to turn, like, <laughs> convert the above article into a video script. So you, all your SEO can be done. You can have all your SEO done within an hour or two, depending on how many keywords you're trying to go ever go uh, after how, how hard you're trying to go. So this is for your watch business, Tyree. And this is just Google. OK, so we're going to go over like Facebook ads and all of that extra stuff too all right but i just want you guys to understand remember we talked about uh uh, uh you have to have uh an offensive strategy and a defensive strategy in marketing if you want longevity paid traffic that can get you short time success just like ty lopez that can get you <laughs> that can get you like you know limited but once you cut the traffic off once you cut the paid traffic off you disappear you understand if you want your brand to be known and you want it to be consistent and and stand the test of time you have to have a defensive strategy and that is positioning like your seo your branding your your uh, ability to be everywhere and and all of that extra stuff that type of stuff all right so you got the defensive strategy then you got the offensive which is the the paid traffic the outreach the prospecting that type of stuff okay paying for shout outs and collaborations and all of that that's that's your that's your offensive strategy okay so as you can see so this would be the article that you put on your uh page for ohio watches for sale tyree and then you simply just name it that it's already going to have these keywords and included in the article okay and if it leaves some out you can just tell it rewrite the article using all of those keywords above <laughs> that you gave me and chat gpt will do it and get, guess what you're gonna this article is gonna start organically naturally ranking for 
a lot of those keywords in Ohio. All right. So now that you got the actual article, you want to have, uh, I recommend 10 to 12, uh, well, actually 12 to 14 nowadays, 12, uh, 10 to 12, uh, 10 to 14, we'll just say 10 to 14. And this is all in the perfect SEO game plan. I'm going to send you guys, uh, 10 to 14 original images. And when I say original images, I don't mean you got to go out there and get a camera and start snapping no crap like that. I'm just saying they don't, they shouldn't be, uh, copywritten. You can take an image that's creative commons and you can metadata. it. You can change the metadata in it and you can geotag it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can right click it and you can open up the little, uh, what is it called? The about the information. Uh, I can't think of what it is right now, but you'll see it if you right click an image, even if it's on your computer right now, if you right click an image, it's going to, uh, it's going to give you some options. You're going to see one of them about information or about or something. And when you click on it is you can, you can put the keywords in there and you can delete like stuff in there <laughs> about the image. You can rename the image and you can name the image, the keywords that you're trying to rank for. I got stuff with images ranking on the first page of google and stuff just by using that type of stuff you can also take that same image see when y'all get inside that seo game plan y'all gonna be like because we we don't just fill the page up with the good article no nah, that's cool our on page our on page seo is so powerful that we rarely have to go off page and get backlinks and all of that extra stuff because not only is the article going to be super optimized, but the images and the videos are as well. So we put powerful images. Each image is going to have geo tagging on it. Okay. So it's going to have the keyword inside the image, the location inside the image. On top of that, you take that same uh, keyword. I mean, you take that same image to Fiverr and you pay five or $10 to get somebody to blast a thousand spam <laughs> spam links to it like it's not going to get uh penalized because it's an image you see what i'm saying but all it's going to do is give it like juice so it's going to juice up that image so five or ten bucks you get a thousand spam links all right <laughs> to that to that uh to that image right and then you can have uh another person for five dollars take that same image and share it to like a uh like five uh, 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 five to 50 different image sharing sites, you know, image sharing sites like photo bucket and stuff like that. Right. And you know, on all of those sites, they give you your own image URL. Am I getting too deep, man? Okay. So when you get those image URLs, <laughs> now you're going to juice those <laughs> anyway. So basically those images are going to go on the, on the, on the site. So it's going to like, imagine all of these powerful little plugins to the site okay and the same thing happens with your video so after like watch this i'm going to say uh convert the above article into a video script <laughs> boom okay see so the, it created your freaking like website content for the article and now it's going to create the actual video for this mug. And this video is going to go on the page as well. And you can take this same video and get a few links to it. You can take the same video and have it shared to like 50 to 100 video sharing websites. And anyway, it's all in the, in the perfect SEO game plan. So are you guys starting to get an idea of how you drive organic traffic to your websites and your assets and everything so that you can get sales? Let me know. Put a put a, a yes, Lord, in the chat if y'all getting it. But come on, man. Let's get some participation. Put a yes, Lord. Okay. Oh, and JM said, uh, he said, oh, Lopez. <laughs> hey, Ty Lopez, he's still, he's still rich. He just ain't in the spotlight no more. And it's okay. You ain't got to be in the spotlight to make money. Like they, the gurus was making money way before social media. Um, <laughs> Okay. Uh, he said, if you build it in layers, it's, it's hard to tear apart. Yes, Lord. Okay. Original images from Dolly. Yeah. You can get original images from Dolly too. He's talking about, um, is an AI that you can type in. Uh, I think you could like, it'll take the words, the text 
and it'll create the image from your words and stuff like that. You can also do that in mid journey, guys. Yeah. Okay. So we got a lot. <laughs> Lonzo, he, he stand out. He different. He said, C. He, he didn't say yes, Lord. He said, C. <laughs> I ain't mad at you in my Tupac voice. Okay. All right. So as you can see, it pretty much created the video. All right. So now you got your good video and you have you a nice article for the site. Okay. So this is all on page. So now what do we do that we have our uh, article and our video? Remember, you need 12, uh, 10 to 14 images. So you don't want to stop with just one. And you want to have at least a couple videos. What couple of video, what type of videos? <sighs> Google is just like YouTube because Google owns YouTube. So what I mean by that, the ranking fact, the ranking factors are the same almost. Engagement, engagement, engagement. So on YouTube, you hear a lot of YouTubers trying to tell you how to go viral and they'll tell you to uh, uh you need a lot of you need a long retention, a long retention, you know what I'm saying? People need to stay on your videos at least uh 50 to 75 percent of the video without leaving and that can help you get a chance of going viral okay cool nice nice it's the same thing on a, a google site google you'll rank it'll test you out it's called the google dance so you might like index the web page and it'll be on the first page of google for a couple of days and then it'll disappear and you're like oh snap what happened did i get penalized no it's testing you out if it puts you on the first page of Google and you have a high bounce rate, bounce rate means people went to your site, looked around, didn't find what they were looking for and left real fast. That's telling Google that they didn't like what they saw or your site is not answering that question that they typed in that box. So videos help. It's called something. It's, it's something called dwell time, which is just, it's just the same thing as a retention rate on YouTube. So dwell time is the amount of time that people spend on your site, searching for stuff, uh, clicking around, adding things to cart, making purchases, going through multiple, multiple pages. If they spend time on your site, it lets Google know that your site answered that question in the search box very well. And if it answers that question very well, then they'll rank it higher the more engagement you get. So they test it out. And if it get a high bounce rate, they like trash your site. They'll put it on page four somewhere. <laughs> so videos, what I've learned is that videos, I mean, practice what works. You see that uh, uh, YouTube says people spend like billions of hours a day on YouTube as video content. So what I do is I put a lot of videos on my front pages, on my landing page, if you want to call them landing pages, or on my home pages of my site. So it'll be uh, two different types of videos. It'll be uh, like a testimonial type video. Then there's an educational type video. Reason why I put the testimonial type video on there is because I want people to make a purchase. I want them to convert. And then the reason why I put the educational video on there is because if they understand how things work, they're going to convert off of the testimonials. On top of that, educational videos hold your attention for a while. You understand? So that increases the dwell time on your websites, guys. So with you, uh, Tyree, with the watch uh, niche, you can find videos that describe how these watches work or why they're so valuable. Why are they set at this specific price that you're trying to sell them out, uh, sell them at? And you can get a little bit of testimonials. Uh, maybe a famous person is wearing the watch or something like that, blah, blah, blah. That is going to drive your dwell time up on your website pages. You understand what I'm saying? People are going to stay on there. They're going to be more engaged. And what I like to do is I put the testimonials right next to the payment buttons because nobody's going to be as excited about a product as they are when they watch a testimonial. So if you can put the payment button right by the testimonial, that's the perfect, that's the perfect place. You put the dang on payment button all the way down the page after they done lost the hype. No, no. You want to put the payment button right by the testimony. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so we got be happy, go lucky. What's up? What's happening with you? Okay. He said this chat AI is going to revolutionize the world. Yes, Lord. I mean, it's, it's, it's just one amongst others. This might not be the thing. 
you know, it, it's, it's one of them. And it's, it's a it's a glimpse into the future. Even if this doesn't succeed, something like this. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people building off of this. This is why I talk to you guys about building assets. Because some people just playing around on chat GPT, then there's other people that's like, damn, I've been waiting for a technology like this. This is the missing piece to this idea I had back 30 years ago. And now they finna. So yes, chat GPT is awesome though. But he also asks right after that, so is Google dead now? That that just ain't gonna happen. Uh it's a good video that um Marcus, his channel is called Affiliate Marketing MC. Uh yeah. He did a video on uh, ChatGPT versus Google, and uh, <laughs> he just pointed out a lot of errors that ChatGPT is going to have to fix, and he's telling the truth about it. Oh, excuse me. I got to digest. The, like, the keto pizza is just still just sitting right here. It ain't going nowhere. Anyway, um, so basically, when, when you ask ChatGPT, uh, like, certain things that you ask Google, ChatGPT has no idea. What you talking about? Like if I ask ChatGPT, uh, if I type a specific song in ChatGPT, how about this? Watch this. <laughs> hey, don't forget everything that I showed you guys in here. You know, I'm going to leave this page, but you guys will be able to watch the replay uh, either Sunday or something like that. Okay, but watch this. If I type in, um, uh, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Hold on. Let me refresh it. See, ChatGPT is certain things they don't know. Like they're, they're, they're not human. Google ain't human either. Google isn't human either. But like it's just it's not going to be able to overthrow the search component of Google. If Google comes with some AI or something, I mean, it might beat it with that aspect. But as far as search go, it it just won't be able to do it because it's it Watch this. Watch this. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> this is a uh, colloquial, whatever phrase, which means I am not angry with you. It is often used as a way to express forgiveness or understanding. See, chat GPT is still more like a dictionary. Okay. But watch what Google does. Watch this. I ain't mad at you. Look at it immediately knew exactly what i was talking about do you still think google is that do you still think chat gpt is gonna beat google no it's not <laughs> chat gpt had no idea that i was talking about you uh tupac but 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 google did i can say watch this california love it knows what i'm talking about but then we go back over there to chat gpt let's see if chat gpt understands that i'm talking about a dang on song or is it gonna tell me to love california or some crap all right so so chat gpt is still kind of oh okay so they got it this time ah, they must be listening to me y'all <laughs> they must be listening to me look at them <laughs> california love is a song by tupac right <laughs> okay so they got that one they got that one all right all right okay i ain't gonna count them out yet <laughs> okay uh, B Lucky says, "You are so smart at this. Thanks for sharing." Yes, Lord, that's my job. Uh, that's my job. God blesses us so that we can be blessings to other people. The moment you try to keep your blessings to yourself, He will take your gifts away. Trust me. Trust me. I know all about that. Okay. So JM says, "I'm about done with YouTube because 75% is BS." <laughs> if I say this has the potential to make a thousand a day. All it's going to do is bring you up in search, but the video lacks depth. It helps dwell. Uh, okay. Uh, GPT is like Google, only it talks back. Google spits facts. Yes, Lord. Uh, <laughs> James say, oh, this is busting my boy. Okay. Pause. Tyrese say, yeah, yeah, do that. I'm hella late. Okay. Uh, he said, I asked for lyrics for a song for children to teach them ABCs. <laughs> it typed Jackson Five's. Uh, it typed Jackson Five's song about ABCs word for word. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, y'all. You got to be more specific with it. You can't just say, "Give me a song for children about ABCs." You know what I'm saying? Watch this. I'll give you an example. Write a song 
about A, A, B, C's uh, for children include, uh, let's see, a popular name, letter. I don't know. I'm just making some stuff up off the cuff, y'all. Um, also, write it in the melody of... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, snap. Whitney Houston, I will always love you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making some stuff up. But this is what you got to do. You got to be creative with it, guys. Okay, so as unfortunately, I'm not able to compose songs in a specific melody. However, I can write you a song that you can use to teach. Okay, so now it's doing what I said before I told it to do the Whitney Houston thing. So it's giving me a song for each letter. I mean, it's giving me a word for each letter and all of that extra stuff. Okay. So that's how you would do it, man. You just got to get like super specific with it. Or I will go ahead and give you some Jackson five stuff. <laughs> uh, believe in yourself said her voice in that song was on point. Yes, it, yes, it was. Nobody better, man. Nobody better. Uh, what's her name? Celine Dion tried, but nah, man. Uh, <laughs> Is Whitney Houston, it just wasn't nobody like her, man. It just it just wasn't. Uh, but we ain't going to get all sentimental on her. I don't want y'all to see me cry yet. I don't know you like that. I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, be happy, go lucky, said. I tried a chat script for making a real estate sale. I asked for a pers uh, persuasive script selling uh, house details and then tried it word for word. Yeah, BB. Okay. So did, it, did that turn out good? Okay, my bad. I'm super late on y'all comments. <sighs> uh, Tyree said, count down to boot camp. February, let's go. Let's go. February 20th is boot camp. I'm too amp. Okay, let's see. Jaron, Jaron, what's up, man? I ain't seen you in a minute. He said, noob, expecting to get a degree here. Great content, more step-by-step -step tutorials and details. Keep them coming because I'm binge watching. God bless Yah. Yes, Lord. In case y'all don't know who Yah is, that's the most high. The most high. All right. Um, love it. JM said, internet issues. Be right back. Hey, I know all about that, bro. <laughs> James says, I switched my thought to create a booklet by teaching kids how to swim step by step with all the materials they need to buy with a link and affiliate. Hey, that's smart. That's very smart, dude. All right. Love, love, love. Yes, I sold it. Okay, cool. All right, so what is the next business? I don't think the sun is down yet. It is 647. The sun will be going down in a minute, though. I probably should have started at 4 since it's Friday, so I could stay it on a little bit longer with y'all. But don't worry. I think maybe start next week because it's not just about the boot camp, guys. Like, I'm, I'm on here to help you guys no matter what. You understand what I'm talking about? So uh my goal i'm delegating out a lot i'm out you know i'm delegating a lot out to softwares and virtual assistants so that i'll be able to go live with you guys uh uh three to five times a week consistently and my goal is to not make generic how-to videos i want to take your specific businesses that you are already working on and help you get traffic and sales to them that's my goal because i believe in you guys creating assets OK, not just making money. I want you to create assets that's going to be around long after you. OK, so my goal, my goal, <laughs> yeah, I'm setting a goal. My goal is to start going live with you guys uh, once a day. And we're going to take each of your businesses like every day. We'll probably take one or two businesses live and I'll give you guys exact steps to getting traffic and sales, the defensive strategy and the offensive. So you're going to have your SEO and positioning and all of that. Plus, you're going to have your paid uh, traffic and your outreach plan for prospecting and all of that with the bots and automations. You're going to have all of that. So you guys want to make sure if you're not subscribed uh, that you are and notified with that bell bell, you already know. Um, so you don't miss it. Also, set your alarms for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. Lord willing, we make it through the night. We will be going over the pair. Nah, I'm trying to. Ah, I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to go over some parables tomorrow. 
Okay. We're going to go over some parables. We're going to be talking about the master with the talents. Okay. If you guys never heard of that, uh, you might want to be here tomorrow because it's going to change the way you think of money. Okay. I told you, like, it's not, it's money can be powerful if you know what it's supposed to mean to you. It's not supposed to mean the world to you. Money is not supposed to be your God. Money is supposed to be your defense, like the Bible says. And if you look at it as your defense, you'll be able to accomplish a lot of great things. So set your alarm for 11 a.m. manana, 11 a.m. Eastern for the Sabbath day. James said, hit them likes, y'all. Yes, Lord. I mean, I'm, I'm not one of those. If you don't like this, then don't hit it. <laughs> if you don't like it, then if you don't like what we went over today, then don't hit the like button, okay? Um, believe in yourself says parables. I like to write in this form, especially since one scammer complained about how I am, how I am always responding to chat with them. <laughs> yeah, parables are awesome, man. Um, so <laughs> tomorrow we're going to go over some parables and we're going to go over the master with the talents and it's going to help you guys because a lot of people are stuck right now. Uh, they don't know what to invest in. They don't know. They know they want to be something, but they don't know how to make a move about it. They think they need to be uh, have a lot of money to go ahead and put their business idea into play and all of that. No, 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 no. When you hear the parable of the master with the talents, uh, it's, it's going to change all of that and you're going to start making moves. OK, so we're going to go deep into that tomorrow morning. All right. All right. So. Uh, you are welcome, Mr. Believe in Yourself. What what else can I call you? You can give me a, a uh, you know, a nickname or something like that. All right, guys. So just make sure you guys are consistent with me and I'm going to be consistent with you. When I say consistent with me, I mean showing up. Um, the boot camp, that's the only thing I really will say that, like, I it's imperative that you don't miss that. Uh, it's imperative that you don't miss that. Do whatever you got to do to get in a boot camp. Listen, I'm not trying to be no salesman dude. I put the link for Builderall if you want to go there. I put the link for Pictori if you want to go there. But what I will tell you to get into is the freaking boot camp February 20th because we're going to be, uh, you're going to have five to seven monetized assets before the end of that eight, eight week boot camp. Five to seven. And we're going to have discussions, live discussions with developers that build these platforms. We're going to have live discussions and interviews with people that have apps that are doing well on the Google Play Store. So you're going to get an inside, uh, 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 inside view of, you know, from people that have assets out there that are bringing in passive income so that you can know how it's going to be for you or how it can be for you. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the only thing I will sell. I'm, I, I will sell the hell out of that boot camp because if you miss that, I really don't even know. Like, I, I can't imagine what suggested video over there to the right is going to be like that boot camp because I was looking for stuff like this, you know, and I wish it was somebody that, was, that had a boot camp back then. But like I said, back in the day, all the gurus hid on the ground because everybody was accusing them to be scammed. So it was very hard to get a mastermind and all of that extra stuff. You had to like know people like Frank Kern. You had to like really know people, you know, Alex Becker, them type of dudes in order to actually get in contact with the real people. You understand? So now, now it's, this stuff is out and open because of social media. Appreciate it. Happy go, uh, be happy, go lucky. I appreciate the $5. I appreciate the $5 super chat. If y'all see the super chat, y'all already know what to do with that. And if you see the cash app, that's the same place you send the cash at. No, I'm just messing with you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know I got a rhyme for everything. Okay, so James asks how much the boot camp is. The boot camp is twenty five hundred. Okay, it's twenty five hundred. It's an eight week boot camp. The uh, the when we go live, they will be all day lives, all day. So twenty five hundred is nothing for an eight week boot camp where we're going to be live with each other all day. By that time, you probably know everybody in my dang own family that I hang out with. So <laughs> uh, you're going, your assets that we're going to have for you 
are going to be fully monetized before you leave that boot camp. I mean, I just don't really know what else to say. I, you know, usually I talk about creating an irresistible offer, but I don't really even feel like I should have to say too much more about that. Like, there's a lot of people talking this stuff, but you're going to be ha- you're going to leave with assets, actual assets. Am I am I guaranteeing you'll be rich? No, I never said that. You're not going to find any video since 2015 where I guarantee somebody they're going to be rich. You're just not. But can I say that you're going to leave with fully monetized assets that will uh, produce passive income for you? Yes, I can say that. Okay. <laughs> he said, what's the cash up? Okay. <laughs> well, if you want to send the cash up, then this is the cash up right here. I just put it in the chat. Appreciate it. Uh, but get listen, guys, make sure uh, next time we go live, well, not tomorrow, because tomorrow is going to be like super super focused on the sabbath day uh super focused on uh the the topic that we're going over with the biblical business principles okay so like just you know tomorrow don't even think about it but uh when we go live next after the sabbath make sure you guys bring with you like your exact businesses and business models that you're interested in because if you are shy like it's is 34 people on here and i can tell you it's only been five or maybe even 10 of you who even said anything in the chat like i don't be no dang on like bystander like if you want your your uh, you know what i'm saying without action you ain't gonna be able to cash in you gotta put in action to cash in remember okay so y'all gotta like let me know if you really want to help like hey yo y'all's real this is my business model I already have a website for it. This is what I sell. This is how many sales I am uh, striving to get to per week or per month. How can I create a plan to actually achieve that? That's what I need y'all to do. That's how y'all need to come to me. Talk to me like I'm ChatGPT. I don't know everything. I definitely don't know everything, but I do know how to get sales. I do know how to get traffic. Okay. He said engagement is everything, y'all. Yes, it is. Like that, that really like is weird to me. It's like a voyeur or some creep standing outside your window <laughs> with some weird stuff. You're like, dude, just come knock, knock on the door. See if I'm here. Like, why are you just standing outside? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to be on here, we are an active community. Say something. It should be 34 people saying something in the comments. It just should be because all of you guys are here or heard trying to get your businesses up and running trying to build your assets and get them monetized. That's all I'm about. I'm not promising you to be rich. I'm promising that you are going to own assets and they're going to be monetized. You decide how big you go with those assets. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Benjamin, there we go. Benjamin says, I'm an artist and business consultant from California. So what type of art? Is it acrylic? Is it all, all pain? What is it? That's awesome. Cause I, I I haven't done art in a while, but I did all paintings and sketches, like life, like portrait, that type of stuff. If I knew that marketing stuff back in the day, I probably have like a huge gallery by now. Uh, believe in yourself, said I'm here to learn, but also to flow that agape love, agape love. He said all painting. That's awesome. I can't wait to see some of your work, man. Make sure you come back, Benjamin. Make sure you come back. Set y'all along for 11 a.m. tomorrow. Like we're, we're trying to become a community slash family, guys. So y'all need to be here all the time because ain't no telling what we're going to do here. All right. Jerron says, y'all's real. What's up, sir? I'm wanting to do that luxury directory. I heard that. Luxury what? Luxury uh, vehicles, luxury real estate. Hey, Tari, I appreciate the, the 10... Uh, the $10 cash app. I appreciate that, bro. All right. There we go. Another five bucks from Happy uh, Go Lucky. I appreciate all y'all, man. I appreciate all y'all donations and everything. All right. Um, Tony Kern says, I'm tracking with you, brother. Just told a friend of mine how brilliant you are. Hey, there's no wisdom but wisdom from above. You understand? He said, the wisdom of man is foolishness compared to God. So that's why I always speak. The scripture said, if you uh, when a man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So that's why I always tell people, <laughs> God is my lawyer. So this ain't hate speech. It's great speech. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
So, but I appreciate it. You know, if I do sound smart, because when I try to talk without him, <laughs> when I don't use references to the Bible and stuff, sometimes I sound stupid as hell. So I'm just being real with you. You know what I'm saying? Everything that I know comes comes from there. Everything is shared knowledge. Okay. Uh, and that's why I invite you guys to the Sabbath classes because it increases your real wisdom. You're, 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 you're going to be really wise. All right. If you uh, don't just learn from YouTube guru crap, you need is more things you need to add to your arsenal to uh, for longevity in, in business. OK, so make sure you guys show up tomorrow. Uh, Mrs. Liddell says I have a legal service business with a website. I need traffic. Let's get you some traffic, Mrs. Liddell. I pray that you have already subbed and hit the bell so that you can be back here, Mrs. Liddell, so that I'll be able to tell you how to get that cake. All right. Um, you are welcome. And you have a nice evening, too. Uh, be happy. Go lucky. Um, believe in yourself says I'm a master of enjoying tranquility. Doing what I love means it does not feel like work. All praises to the most high. And that's why I sit on here and talk to y'all all day, because sharing this information, this is just what I was meant to do. Like, <laughs> like I love teaching and stuff, you know, like I know this. My wife tell me that this makes me look low level. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm too accessible and stuff. But <sighs> but then I think about Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, which is which is who the world calls Christ. He went out there with the people. You know what I'm saying? Even though when he left, he outsourced it to the disciples and then they wait, they went and made more disciples, aka affiliates, and that's how the word spread to, to today, right? But at first, he did go out there and preach and teach and heal himself. And he enjoyed it. And I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? So uh she said, I have subscribed and hit the bell. Thanks. All praise to the most high. Thank you. Um, James said, Will the boot camp be recorded? The boot camp. Yes, the re it will be replays. That will be inside the course. So let me just say it now. Okay, the course by itself is 2K. The boot camp is 2,500. Not really a big difference. This is why I never really talk about the course. You know what I'm saying? But the course will have the replays from the live boot camp in there along with some other instructional videos for you to follow to monetize your assets and everything that you're going to have. But the boot camp is going to actually be live with the interviews. You'll be able to ask them things. I'll be able to answer questions and ask some things for you and all different types of crazy stuff that I just wish was around. Like that's crazy, man. Um, uh, believe in yourself says there is much joy available when serving your fellow beings. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> We are kings, but we are also servants. You know, uh, God gave us a gift, not for us to harbor to ourselves, but to serve to mankind. Just like a tree doesn't grow up and eat his own apples. <laughs> right. The gift of a tree is to grow and produce fruit for others to enjoy. That's exactly what we're supposed to do. This is why a nine to five job is not practical for those who were created in the image of the most high God. If you were created in his image, that means that you are supposed to be like your father, which is a creator. So you're supposed to create things as well. And when you create things, you're supposed to share those things. Those things are supposed to make things more convenient and become a blessing to, like you said, your fellow man. Okay. All right. It is starting to get dark out there, y'all. If there's anything else y'all want to ask me, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, we were only able to go over Tyree's business this time. Um, but next time I'll try to fit in at least three businesses on the live streams. So just make sure you guys are showing up during the week at 5 p.m. during the live streams. OK, because we can take each of your businesses and I can give you full traffic and sales plans. We're not just going to go over the traffic part. We're going to go over creating irresistible offers. And this is something I did in the Godfather of Drop Service and Course. I, I introduced them to creating irresistible offers. This, it creates like a monopoly in a specific location. If you are a limousine company, like you need to look as if you're the only limousine company to choose from. That's why I have the book on my website. I'll just show it to you one more time. This is not me selling it to you. 
I'm just showing you guys. Uh, if you decided to get it, then whatever. But this is why we have this. I created this book right here. Hold on. Pause that. Pause that. This is my agency, my so-called uh, advertising marketing agency. It's called ProfitPositioningAgency.com. Okay. And this is one of my books. It's called Only Versus Best. Okay. First book of its kind, revealing how to dominate your market sales effortlessly using market monopolies. Market monopolies. Why is it called only versus best? Because everybody is trying to be the best. But does that make any sense? Wouldn't you rather be the only option? I'd rather be the only option to buy from. When you're the best, people are constantly trying to take you out. Like that means when you're a, when you're the best, you're admitting that you have competition. You're admitting that you're a commodity. You're admitting that it's other people that's as good as you uh, or, or, or that can do the job better than you. You're admitting that. But when you're the only option, when you're the only option to buy from, I mean, people got to go to you or just go away. Bars, right? So this book is is crazy if I say so myself, you know, uh, only versus best, guys. And I, I keep telling you guys, I, I really want you guys to figure out a way to create an offer like this because it will change your life. And if you think it ain't people out there with this type of money, it is. I promise it is. Okay, so why do I want you to create an offer valuable enough? Don't just have some BS that you're trying to charge a lot of money from, for, okay? The reason why I keep putting this, trying to like grind this into y'all's skulls is because just one of these sales, just a, a $97,000 sale, depending on, I don't care if you make a lot of money now, an extra $100,000, that's... A year's salary for a lot of different industries. You know what I'm saying? So if you got one of these, if you get one of these a year or one of these a month, just have it on. I'm not saying it's going to be your main sales. You know what I'm saying? Chances are you'll make more sales like this, maybe 5K or, or something like that. But even if somebody is just wandering along your site saying, hmm, let me see what else Tyree has available. And then they run into this. If they got the money, you don't know who's on your site. You don't know what their budget is. So if you have something like you should just have it there. You should just have it there just in case. You know what I'm saying? One day I'm changing this to a milli boy and I get ready to do my Lords of Leverage mastermind. A milli boy, a million. Okay. All right. Why? Because it's dominating an entire market. I don't teach people to just be mediocre. You, right? you understand what I'm saying? So if I do something with a business, I teach them to dominate, right? So of course it's gonna it's gonna take some money for that. So I want you guys to open your mind, uh, read the book Irresistible Offer, and then there was the other book I was trying to get you guys to read. I forgot kind of at the beginning we was talking about it. Uh, oh, Clockwork is talking about systems and automations and delegating and all of that. Man, it's like I read I read that book a lot of times too, just like the Irresistible Offer. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. You got. You change that up here, you won't take no more stuff from yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jerron said, let's do this thing. 2023 will be huge. And uh, your hollow shot name, I pray for health, wealth, and success. Thanks for all your help, Anti-Job University. I appreciate you guys for attending this live stream. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be here on a Friday. And that shows your dedication, you understand, and devotion. So that's one of the first things that you are going to need to be successful in anything you do. Dedication, devotion, those type of words. Discipline. A lot of D words, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ride out now because the Sabbath is coming and I don't want to defile it. I don't want to still be working when the sun go down. I strongly suggest you guys wrap it up. Don't do no work from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. You're not supposed to buy. You're not supposed to sell. You're not supposed to uh, burn a fire, meaning you're not supposed to cook. Uh, so that means eat stuff like sandwiches, cold stuff that's good, cold, like prepare that stuff like before the sun go down, all of that, right? And uh, tomorrow is going to be awesome for those of you who show up. Those of you who show up on the Sabbath, chances are you're going to be 10 times more successful 
than the non-believers. I'm just gonna be real, be real, because God gives men the power to get wealth. It says it in the scriptures. So if you show up tomorrow, you got way better chances than everybody else who don't. All right. So love you guys and Lord's will, I'll see you tomorrow. All right.